Hello everyone, welcome back to the Concept Academy. This is your one way solution for maths and physics. So today we are going to discuss the Cambridge Primary Maths and we are going to discuss the topic that is counting and sequences. Okay, so let's start. So here, what is our learning objective? So in this video, we are going to learn what are number sequences and what are their paths. So that means first we will go through that. What do you mean? What do we mean by a sequence and how many parts it has and uh, then how we work out with that. So let's start without doing any further delay. So before we start, I just want you to fill out these blank spaces. So here you can see we have one, two, three, and then we have a blank space and then we have five, six, seven. So I just want you to fill down this place. Okay, so I'm listening to you. Are you saying four? Yeah, if you are saying four, so that is the correct answer. Obviously there will come four. Okay, then next we have two, four, six, then the next place is empty and then 10, 12 and 14. So what will come here? We just have to write down. Okay, are you saying eight? Yeah, if you are saying eight, so that is correct. So here will come eight. Okay, so these were easy to do. Let's see, will you be able to do these one or not? Okay, so here we have 10, nine, eight. Then the next space is empty. Then six, five, four. So what will come here? It's pretty obvious, 10, nine, eight, and here it will come seven, okay? Then if we'll go to the B part of the same kind of question, so we have 100, 90, 80, then a blank space, then 60, 50, and 40. So what will come here? Pause it and do it. Yeah, you are correct, 70 will come there. Okay, so this way we have completed four such kind of questions where we just have to fill out what will come in the middle where there is a blank space. So these all are called sequences. We have just solved four questions from the topic sequences. These are pretty easy. That's why uh, we are able to, we were able to do this much quickly. So what is a sequence? A sequence is a list of number that follows a special rule and the pattern. So as you have seen, the examples we have done in previously, that was one, two, three, and then we need to fill the other number. Then it was five and six. So here you can see that one place was empty and we filled four. So this is a sequence. It's a list of numbers. You can see that it's a list of number and they follow a special rule or pattern. So what rule and pattern they are following every time we are increasing one, like one, then increase one so that is two then three then four then five then six that similarly will happen to other sequences the numbers go in the certain order and each number is called a term in the sequence okay so the numbers go in a certain order like we have the we have took the example we took the example 10 20 30 and 40 so these all numbers they are going in a certain order you can see that after 30 we are getting 40 after 20 we are getting 30 and after 10 we are getting 20 so obviously if you will use a bit of reasoning so you will know that after 40 there will come 50 so this is a sequence very easy thing and now here you have to write your own example so i'm writing my own example and it goes like 5 then 15 and then 25 then 35 then 45 i guess yeah 45 so as you can see that in every time in every step we are adding 10 so 5 plus 10 is 15 15 plus 10 is 25 the same way 25 plus 10 is 35 and 35 plus 10 is 45 okay so now you will make your own example and uh, you can make a lot of examples like you can write the tables, two table, three table, four table, five table, any number table. They all are the sequences. They all are sequence, whatever you're writing, but it should follow a certain order. Like it's following a certain order after every 10 numbers, after every 10 places, the other number is coming like five plus 10 is 15. This way you need to write. So this is a sequence. Let's go to the next slide. Okay, so now we are going to understand the parts of sequence. So here you can see a sequence which is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 and 60. So the first part of sequence is called term. 
So here you can see a term. So each number in a sequence is called a term. So all these numbers are terms. Like this is term number one, term number two, term number th three, term number four, term number five, and term number six. Okay, so let's fill out quickly this. So we need to find out the first term. So hence we can see that in the sequence, 10 is coming in the beginning. So the first term is 10. Okay, then what is the second term? Uh, 20 is coming in the second place. So 20 will be the second term. And now fifth term. So we need to check the first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. So here, this 50 is the fifth term of the sequence. So you will write down 50 here. Very good. Okay. Now, so this way we understand that what is a term. Term means the number which is coming in a sequence. It's very easy. Now let's go to the next slide. Okay. So now the second part is term to term rule. The second part of a sequence is term to term rule or a pattern. So a rule that tells us how to go from one number to next, that is called term to term rule. Okay. So now here we have the sequence 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60. So there will be a certain rule which will tell us how we will go to the next term, like what will come after 60. So if you will observe this pattern, obviously you will say 70. But what we have done, how will you describe it? How will you describe that how we are getting this 70 here? So for that, we have to tell one rule, one word or one phrase. So what we are doing here, by the way, we are adding 10. So the term to term rule for this sequence is add 10. So the term to term rule for this sequence is add 10. So I will write. So it's asking check what's the term to term rule for this sequence. So term to term rule for this sequence is add 10. Now let's take one more example, a decreasing sequence. If the terms like this way, 25, then 20, then 15, then 10, and then five, and then zero. Okay. Now what is the term to term rule? As you can see in this example, in the beginning, in the first example of term to term rule, the sequence was increasing. That means the smaller values were coming first than the greater values. But here we are getting the greater values first, then we are getting the smaller values. Okay. So how we are getting this 20 from this 25? Uh, for that, what we are doing, we are subtracting five. That means if I will do 25 minus five, so we will get 20. The same way if I will subtract 5 from this 20. So I will get 15, which is here. If I will subtract 5 from this 15, I'll get 10. And if I will subtract 5 from this 10, I will get 5. And you can see all these elements, all these terms are here in the sequence. And if I will at the end, if I will subtract 5 minus 5, so I will get 0. So you can see that we are repeating one operation, adding, subtraction, multiplication, or division, it, whatever it could be, mostly addition and subtraction again and again. So we are subtracting five again and again and again and again. And when we are subtracting five again and again and again, every time we are getting the next term, like 20, 15, then 10, and then five. So that means the term to term rule for the sequence is subtract five. Subtract five. Okay. So this is term to term rule. Now you can make a lot of sequences and you can find out the term to term rule for all the sequences. Here I have a small exercise to do. So uh, this is a recap. What did we learn? So here let's go. Let's see how we need to do. So here is a sequence given. A and B and we need to find out the first term and the rule. So we know that the, the numbers which are coming in the sequence, those are called the terms. So four is the first number which is coming for this sequence A. So the first term for this sequence is four. Okay, now what's the rule? So here the first term is four and the second term is eight. Now how we are reaching from four to eight? Uh, four and what we are adding on four. So we are getting eight that we need to find out. So it's increasing sequence. Obviously we are adding, but what we are adding. 
So we are adding four, right? Four plus four is equal to eight. So the term to term rule will be add four. So the rule is add four. The same thing, question number B, here also increasing sequence. So first term is 100, obviously, it's very pretty much visible. And now how we will find out the term to term rule. So you can see that it's increasing 100 to 105. So it's increasing, obviously, we are adding because when we add something, then only, then only it increases. If you're not adding, so it will not increase. Like I have one chocolate and I'm adding two chocolates on it. So then now I have three chocolates total. So it's increasing. If I had three chocolates and I'm removing one, I'm removing one, I'm taking one. So then I will remain, then it will remain only two chocolates. So it's increasing. That means something we are adding, but what we are adding. So for that, you can do 105 minus 100 and it will give you five. That means we are adding five every time. 105, then 105 plus five is 110. Then 110 and five is 115. And 115 plus five is 120. So we are repeating this operation again and again, and that is add five. So the term to term rule for this sequence is add five. Okay, so this was all about for this video and uh, I hope you understand what I wanted to explain. So thanks for, thanks for watching and uh, you can subscribe our channel if you like the video and here the Insta account for our channel. If you like, if you want to get daily updates on new mathematical concepts, so make sure you follow this channel and make sure you will follow us on Instagram. Thank you so much. Have a very nice day.